Hey guys, I am out at the moment in nature, I suppose, and I've got the MT20, the Next Torch MT20 here. And I'm just going to give you a little introduction on what you get with it. So basically, you get nice little holster, and the holster has got a decent amount of rigidity to it as well. It does hold its shape. Got this kind of clip to place on your belt. Put that away. And this is the MT20 itself here. And basically, open it up. You've got some of these safety shears, or the way I like to call them, basically some really chunky, heavy duty pair of scissors. Cut through sticks, you can probably cut through metal with them. I haven't tried really, just I don't want to damage, dull the blades. You've also got some pliers here that you can uh, pop in as well. What else do you have in here? You've got your usual tools, so you've got a saw on this side. And on the other side, you've got yourself a normal blade. It's locking mechanisms on both the saw and the blade as well. So you're not gonna accidentally close this thing onto your hand, really important. There's also a couple of other smaller tools in here like this bottle opener here. It's got a cutting edge in the center as well. And you've also got a screwdriver here, like that. And I mean, there's another tool here, which is a little bit something that I don't use myself, but it's a plastic handcuffs cutter. So basically one of those zip tie cutters that you put under there. And it's kind of got a safety cutting edge here so you don't you know, hurt anyone or yourself while you're doing this. Locks up as well. We've got an oxygen tank wrench here as well. Something I don't quite use myself, but if you're in emergency services and maybe scuba diving that could be an important tool to have ruler on the back okay about what's it eight centimeter ruler I've got a clip as well and I've got to say I just love the finish on this tool I would say that it's a step above next torch have made this a step above a lot of the other tools that they have I think at least it's a step above the MT10 in terms of overall construction so let's try it out in a few different scenarios all right, we're going to use the blade now on the MT20. A shorter blade than usual for a multi-tool, but it's pretty effective. And I'm going to strip some bark. Also, try to just sharpen this stick as well. Let's see how we go. Oh, pretty effective. And this stick is fairly dry, I'd say. Um, so it's yeah, pretty hard. So in terms of taking off the bark, you know, fantastic. Um, getting it into a point is actually fairly easy as well. The tool feels quite comfortable in the hand. hollow center in this stick but not bad and get out the saw again see if I can one hand this might be too hard actually yeah and you can lean this against something but you know got a bit of bit of the way through there wonder if the Shears. Be able to just cut through this stick all together. Probably not, but we'll see. Um, yeah, if you could get enough leverage on it for sure, but uh, yeah, it'd probably do this side, which is actually a bit wet. This side of the stick, still kind of fresh. Um, yeah, not bad. I mean, considering that the, a lot of these scissors you find in multi tools are just almost useless, these have nice serrated blades and very heavy duty as well.
We've got the saw tool. Let's see how it does with this uh, dead branch. Oop. Oh, pretty good. It's a little shorter, a little short for my liking. I'd prefer another few centimeters, but yeah, it's looking pretty, pretty effective. Especially for little branches like this. I wonder how the shears will go. I'll just uh, grab the shears out, whether I can cut off the branch or something. It's a little bit, it's a little bit tricky, but you can do it. You wouldn't be able to do that with a normal pair of scissors, but uh, something like that. I'd probably need to use that saw again.